Hi, this video will cover notes payable, a promissory note from the borrower side in chapter nine. So for the first problem we're doing from our quick study um, on November 7th, we have Mira company borrows $350,000 cash by signing a 90 day 12% notes payable with a face value of $350,000. Then in red, it says use 360 days as a year, even though we have 365. Um, a lot of companies will use the 360 because it's divisible by um, various numbers, 30, 12, 10, um, you name it. However, reality is they get slightly more interest when they use the 360 over the 365. So for this problem, it says compute the accrued interest payable as of December 31st. So we're looking at the date of November 7th. And it asks us the total through maturity. Our principal is the same as our face. We're going to go ahead and put in 350 here. And our interest rate is 12%. That's basically in terms of a year, the annual rate. So let's go ahead and put in there one, two. It automatically has the percentages for that. If you're punching it in your calculator, it is 0.12. And then it says year in interest accrual. So this is the amount that we are recording that um, has incurred but has not been paid because it's not paid until the 90th day. So what we'll do here is figure out how many days are through November 7th all the way through the, um, let's see, December 31st, so 30, um, the 31st of December. So for November, we know it has 30 days. So we'll subtract the seven and we'll get 23. So there's 23 days in November. We'll take that 23 and add the number of days in December. So that's a total of 54 days. So our time will be 54 over 360. Because again, this, ad, this is the annual interest rate and we wanna make sure we put this through, oh, I put it in the wrong place. It should be 54 over 360 in the second row. Up here, let me go ahead and see if I can delete this out. Um, this is total through maturity. So that's for the entire 90 days. So we want to go 90 over 360. And year in interest accrual, again, 350 here. And our rate is still one more zero. Our rate is still 12% for the entire year. And what I like to tell my students is we're going to use the part party formula. And with that, principal times rate times times equals simple interest. I call it the party formula because it's PRT interest. P stands for principal, also known as par or face um, sometimes use in practice and then the R represents the annual interest rate um, unless otherwise stated and then T time in terms of one year since we're using the annual interest rate you would use one as the denominator if it's in years four for the denominator if it's in quarters and 12 if it's in months and then days we're using 360 so we're just using this formula right here so make sure you write that on your notes um, for chapter nine so you can refer back to it. So once I do that, I'll go ahead and get my calculator out. And where's my calculator? So my calculator, I would take the 350, one, two, three, and I multiply this by the 12%, 1.12, and then I multiply it by the 90 days, divided by 360, so that's in terms of a year, and I get 10,500, that's the total interest over the term of the note. Now, as it relates to the accrual portion, since we're only looking at 54 days, I'm going to take my 350, and I'm gonna multiply it by the 0.12, this time, from the length of time, I'm going to do 54 divided by 360. 
and that will give me 6,300. And what that'll represent is the amount of interest that relates to November. Can I put it in there? Let's see, 6,300. That'll um, represent the amount of interest that occurs November 7th through December 31st. And then on the 5th, February 5th is when it accrues, meaning there is 46 more days, 31 in, um, 31 in January, and another 5 in February. So again, I'm going to use a 350. Here my dog's barking. 350123. And then I'll do the 12. Come on, 12% again. I can't get in there. 12%. Let's see if I can go to the next one. So 46 more days. Hmm. So I put in my 12%. And so 54, 90 minus 54, that's 36. I think I said 46, but it should be 36 more days and then we're going to do 36 over 360 so 31 days in january and five in february and then we'll do our calculation p times r times t and when you do that i'm trying to see if i can show you okay you should be able to see both of these rows so 10,500 was for the full 90 days, 6,300 was for the 54 days. So you could actually can just take the difference between the two and get 4,200. And that should equal the 350123 times 12% um, times 36 divided by 90, no, I'm sorry, not 90, 36 divided by 360, do it again, 360. <coughs> so we want to make sure it's 35, 350,000. Glad we have the clear button, 350, one, two, three, that's the P times the R, 0.12, times the T, 36, divided by 360, equals, and that's 4,200, which is the amount that we got here. And then we're going to go ahead and check my work or score the answer, doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and do score now. And that is how you do the um, calculations for the simple interest. Any questions, ask on Google Hangout or discussion thread. And remember, today is a great day to learn accounting.